Welcome back to Norfolk Perspectives. I'm Bob Batcher, and I've been waiting for this segment all show long because what the heck? Hogs have hope? <laughs> Elena Montella, <laughs> Development Director for Hope House Foundation. I, okay, <laughs> you must have laughed when you made this one up. Well, you know, a little bit, but you know, you have got you had a, have Maybe you had it was, a, a, it probably was a New Year's Eve thing that we did <laughs> four years ago. Have you ago. had bacon lately? <laughs> what kind of hope? It gives us lots of hope. Don't you hear about the bacon festival and all? Everybody's all about pork. Well, now you're making me feel guilty because <laughs> that hog could have had hope. Okay. It does have hope. It does have hope. It's making hope. It's bringing hope. There you go. It's bringing, bringing hope. hope. She's an English major. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Crotty from the Belmont House of Smoke. Yes. You want that hog to not have hope. <laughs> we want that hog to bring forth hope. I know. Okay, not have a lot of hope. Ribs or to die for. I agree. Yeah, I, I agree. Be careful because I'm supposed to be you know, unbiased. And, right. You know. We're the best. We they can go ahead best. and say it. They're good community <laughs> partners, too. They are. They are. Okay, so what's it all about? Well. That's a song, isn't it? Yeah, I Sing think it? so. Only Is it? You. Not yeah. in my generation. No, I'm just okay. kidding. <laughs> well, it's just a day to celebrate, you know, getting off on the right foot. Okay, let's put it this way. Because if you were on the wrong out. foot the night before. <laughs> yes, Because exactly. the day is? January 1st. I know. New Year's the, Day. The first day of the year. And we're going to be doing all kinds of traditional New Year's Eve, like your black eyed peas. And I'm from Jersey. I don't eat black eyed peas. Oh, they're wonderful. But, this but year I have to because, oh, really? no, I do every year <laughs> since we've been doing it because it's supposed to bring you good luck. It has it? Um, yeah, sort of. <laughs> 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 we'll also have traditional greens, and we're yes. also going to have a huge oyster roast, and then, of course, the pig picking. So all of the New Year's foods that you're supposed to eat for good luck and good fortune will be there. Okay, yeah. now, okay so you said pig picking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's so, a pig. Where is the pig? Pig will be inside, d weather yeah. depending, so... Oh, if we're it's bad weather, you're going to put them out? And the head if it's bad, we'll probably apple. have them inside. If it's cold, it'll be inside. If it's absolutely gorgeous, maybe we'll have them outside on one of the patios. Oh, cool. But no, absolutely. Complete pig picking, oyster roast, that will be outside. But you will do the picking. You'll do the picking yourself. We'll have somebody huh? there to help you. We'll have yeah, somebody there helping yeah. you. Somebody's there to help. But you can just go in and rip one of those ribs right on off, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then you can go run at the gardens. There we go, because we were saying before, yeah, yeah the Botanical Gardens can have a run after. Yeah. So you have a couple of beers, a few beers, whatever you want mm -hmm. to drink, adult beverage, right? That's yeah, right. Yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's all you can eat. And $20, $20 before the first, 25 on at the, the day of. So You're kidding. No, yeah. it's, it's a good deal. We're raising hands. money for a hotel. Does the pig know you're selling them so cheap? <laughs> That's a deal. It, it is, is a deal. It is. And why are you doing this? Just because you like having a good party? Well, you know Hope House loves a good party. You got it. You know that. But it really is the brainchild of, of Belmont and, and the owners there and staff. They just wanted to, Dave Filipowski's always wanted to do something on New Year's Day just to kind of get the year going right. And he wanted it to benefit a charity, and I like to say we're one of his favorite charities. Cool. Okay, we're talking like good old friends. Uh huh. But tell me what Hope House is all about. Okay, well, we um, are. Because it's the serious own... stuff. It is serious stuff. It really is. So that's why having Hogs for Hope lightens it up. Mm hmm. But we provide supported living services to adults with developmental and intellectual disabilities here in Hampton Roads. We're the only organization in the state of Virginia that provides this type of service exclusively in their own homes. So they have a key to their own apartment and they live life the way they choose to live. So that is extremely important because no one else is doing it. Mm -hmm. So, um, and we have to be creative and if it means Giving a hog no hope. Then we'll just <laughs> then go you're ahead gonna do it, We're just gonna do it because you know you have to be creative. Okay, cool. And I got to ask you. Okay, you're, you're planning that next event in May. Uh, yes, Stockley will be. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I got that. And you know, it. Shamrockin's coming up. Oh, that's right. March. You're just constantly busy. Always. Something. Okay, you said something about buying ahead of time. Buying ahead of time. You can buy your tickets for Hogs for Hope at Belmont House of Smoke, Hogan's Pizza, Collie Cantina, Hope House, and Hope House Thrift Shop. Yep. So, so you can, oh, perfect Christmas gift. It is oh, a perfect yeah, gift. Yeah, a certificate for a class, and fitness class. 
and it's put a pig out of its misery. (laughs) (laughs) You got it made. That is a great idea. And you know what's really cool? In all the years I've been doing the show, we have some really special viewers who actually have come through Hope House, Mm -hmm. which is really cool. Yeah. So they have become, they're really... Are, they, well, I think, you know, everybody is connected. We're all connected and we all help each other out. And if it means you have s- someone who wants to go to Hogs for Hope or just likes the Arts Festival, and you guys bring us all together by yep. allowing us to come out here and tell our story and see what fun things Hope House has got going on. It's really important it's to cool help stuff. partnership. I know. It. It's, cost. it's It's about relationship. And it's about relationship. Okay. Speaking of relationship, I'm gonna, we've got about a minute left. This is the okay. last show of the year. Oh, it is? And I think it's appropriate that you're on. Okay. Um, the show before, it rained last week, we had, mm-hmm. a very, had a very special guest on who kind of looks like you. Oh, really? Yeah. And what do they say? The acorn doesn't, the nut doesn't far, <laughs> fall far from the tree. <laughs> the nut doesn't fall <laughs> that, far from the tree. Yeah. You're, you've, you've instilled a conscience in a daughter, haven't you? Yes. Thank you very much. She's pretty special. She uh, really cares about her community, and she just thought that up and ran with it and really made a difference. And really collecting coats for yep. kids who were in need. Yep. And the Belmont was kind of that connection too. Yeah, so sure. It really is about giving back. And I want to kind of turn to the viewer that uh, in 2015, we'll have plenty of opportunity to uh, think about things could be different. And what I want to challenge you all as the viewer is to, when watching Norfolk Perspectives, think about how we can make things different and do something about it and follow Elena's daughter's model and do something different we're so glad you're watching and looking forward to a happy new year coming up but give us a holler at 664-6510 and as usual it's a wonderful time to be in norfolk just because of you and you and you thanks a lot guys thank you thank you (laughs)